Hello everyone, my name is Adam Provost from Nutanix. In this video, we're going to spend a few minutes reviewing how to add in an HTTP and HTTPS proxy uh, into the PRISM interface. So once we log in, we click on Home, we navigate to Settings, scroll down to HTTP proxy. Here's where we're going to add in our proxy. But first, let me answer why we need a proxy in some customer environments. So there's a few key things within the platform uh, that we have. Uh, things like LCM downloads, so our lifecycle management uh, bundle pack. So if you're running a third-party platform or if you're looking for some sort of uh, what we call the recipe, it's firmwares, uh, BIOSes, BMCs, uh, AOS hardware, all of those different types of things, all of those are downloaded uh, or can be auto-downloaded. And so if your environment requires a proxy, this is where you would configure that. So we simply click on New Proxy. We're going to type in Nutanix proxy. Uh, our address is going to be proxy.nutanix.com. Port is going to be 8080. Uh, and if you have a username or password, and if you want to make this for both HTTP and HTTPS, uh, you can just check the boxes, click Save, and now your proxies are configured. So again, why do we need this? Uh, in the Nutanix environment. If you do have things uh, that you want to auto download, if you have anything like Pulse uh, that you want to be able to send out, uh, it may require an HTTP or an HTTPS proxy uh, in your environment. So this is how we configure one of those. Thank you so much.